welcome to the first debate of Republican candidate Meg Whitman. Meg Whitman, a proven business leader, right for California. Uh, and Democratic candidate Jerry Brown. Yo! Uh, Mr. Brown, are, are you ready? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Little hands says go, let's do this. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, the first question is Miss Whitman. Miss Whitman, you have spent over $100 million of your own money on a massive advertising campaign. Nonpartisan research have found that many of these ads are factually misleading and blame Brown for things that he had no control of. How do you respond? While Jerry Brown was governor, he oversaw the gas crisis the Iran hostage affair, and the first Steven Seagal movie. <laughs> Is that what Californians want? This message paid for by Californians for Whitman. <laughs> okay, that's uh, not really a cogent answer to a lot of questions. But, uh, but we'll continue. Uh, Mr. Brown, how do you respond? <laughs> well, California, you know, I did lead you through some rocky times, but uh, on the other side, uh, it was one hell of a party, right? <laughs> Anybody seen Boogie Nights, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sacramento in the 70s, it was just like that, man. Only nuttier. <laughs> uh, well, Mr. Uh, Mr. Brown, that's quite an off-the-cuff off remark you just made. Hey, man, I've never been on the cuff my whole life, square. <laughs> All right, uh, well, Mr. Brown, this next question's for you. <clears throat> Uh, Mr. Brown, you've been accused of being overly indifferent and irreverent in this campaign. How do you respond? <laughs> Mr. Brown. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I was just daydreaming about the glory days. <laughs> you know, I used to screw Linda Ronstadt. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. While I was mayor. Oh, good mayor. <laughs> Who fucking cares, man? I was in an office and I, I, in her fucking pants. So. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was aware of that fact. Yeah, of it. yeah, uh, yeah. But, it's, it's like Schwarzenegger banging Kesha, right? <laughs> Mr. Brown, you know. A lot of people don't remember this, but Linda Ronstadt was hot. She was smoking hot. <laughs> that's right, that's right, yeah. Uh huh, yeah. You kids now, you think of her, Linda Ronstadt, oh, she's like her grandma. But she, back in the 70s, man, she was some prime tail. <laughs> Mr. Brown, Mr. Brown, please. Honestly, honestly, I can bang her and bam, wah, ooh. <laughs> um, <laughs> Miss Whitman, maybe? Unlike my opponent, I have come here to stay on message. And I am going to clean up the mess in Sacramento and bring our state back to its former glory days. But not his glory days. <laughs> Different glory days. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, clean up the mess in Sacramento. How are you going to do that, Meg? Uh, who's going to do that for you, huh? Your maid? All oh, right, you fired her ass. Yeah, oh, oh. Um. <laughs> Mr. Brown. Please. <clears throat> I mean, seriously. Come on, man. Has any like uncanned thing ever come out of, the, out of this lady's mouth? Really? Anything uh, that's not been canned come out of her mouth? Hey, and speaking of canned, I'm going to pretend like it's 1978 and I'm going to get canned. Oh, oh, thanks, tits. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Brown, this is very serious. Oh, I am serious. I'm serious, too. I'm 72 <laughs> goddamn years old. I don't give a fuck what comes out of my mouth. Oh, hey. Party time, right? Miss <laughs> 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 Whitman? Meg Whitman may never have voted in her adult life. She may be dangerously underqualified and highly incapable of thinking on her feet. But she is change. Jerry Brown is a career politician who couldn't find a party during rush week at UCSD. Mm. A liar! 